Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video on this channel. In today's Star Vlog, I want to take care of some visual information. For example, if I am hitting this tree here right now, you won't see, okay, how much health has the tree left, and so on and so forth. So, this is what I'm going to tackle today, and I'm happy to share that with you. So, let's don't waste any time and dive right into it. So, the first thing I want to do is to just check how does it look. So, for that, in the running game, I want to create some kind of slider within our level view canvas and then I want to position the slider to have an idea on what can it look at the end. Just using black as background color here and also I do not want to have an uh, image for the progress. So I came up with this design and this is how it looks within the game or how it should look in the game. Of course when I move the cam it's <laughs> totally off uh, but I think it, this is a nice design. And now the real important part to not just uh, press pause on this game because this would delete all our work. I just move this down to my assets so I get some kind of a prefab. So now I implemented it that way that the health bar gets spawned when the resource is getting attacked. Uh, the value gets decreased by the value of the damage and when the tree or the resource itself is getting destroyed also the UI component gets destroyed. But I didn't implement the position itself so <laughs> uh, that's what I have to tackle next. And now after some really weird behavior of my box collider I finally managed to fix that and now I can also move the camera and this is working like a charm hooray! Another idea that I had was to implement a little pop-up on the bottom right corner. Um, oh, it's not even a pop-up, it's more like an info panel. When I hover over, for example, this tree, that in the bottom right corner there's a little info field, which says, okay, this is a tree, and uh, maybe a little icon right here, and maybe the information on how much DNA of that I got, or if I even have this unlocked. And here we get the amethyst, here we get the stone, and so on and so forth. Uh, I think this is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's tackle that. So for that, I'm just creating a little parent on the bottom right corner. And within this parent, I create a new panel, but without a background image and also a little margin to the borders. And now I can easily add the image for that and a proper text on the right also with minus 16 as a margin. This is a long text. Okay, nice. We got the outer size setup and for the color, I think black is okay for the start. And now we give that a new script, which is called UI info panel. And in there, I'm just creating some methods that we can set the image and the text and the visibility of this whole panel from code. And the code is really not that interesting. This is just the function where I set the information in here. And with this little code, I'm making sure that this info panel is visible when the mouse hovers over this resource. But I looked at the code and thought, hmm, that is not really performant. And I then tried it out. Yep, I was right. This is really, really, really horrible. As soon as I'm trying to get something done here, this really, really, really is lagging and the stats also say okay it's like 20 to 40 fps that's bad but you see it's working hooray <laughs> uh, however we want to optimize that and we are doing this by simply checking if the current cell equals the last cell and then it won't update every single frame. Hooray, I could fix the issue and now it's running smoothly again with our info panel in the bottom right corner. I did not only check if the current cell is the previous cell, I also checked if the world data itself matches with the previous world data. So in this case, I'm hovering the cursor over the grass and technically nothing changes on the bottom right corner and this really decreases the amount on how often I call the UI, which is very expensive, I learned today. <laughs> and that really, really helped a lot. Yep, and with that said, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, then please smash the like button. And if you don't want to miss any updates on my game, then please hit the subscribe button. And we see us in the next video. Bye bye.